Good morning, Tony. Hey. My name is Alex, and I'm going to be the nurse taking care of you today. So could you please tell me a little bit of, about why you're here? I don't even know why I'm here. Like, I don't know. My mom says I'm obese. So you were, so your mom suggested to come here because you were obese? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. That's why she sent me here. Um, honestly, she's so annoying. Like, I don't even know why I'm here. Like, I don't think I am. Okay, but can I ask you, do you see yourself as overweight? No, I don't. I don't. I don't think I'm overweight or obese or whatever. Um, but she thinks so, so that's why I'm here. Okay. Well, can I tell you a little bit about what being overweight means? Yeah, sure. Okay. So what it is, is basically how we determine that is we're using the BMI, so Body Mass Index Scale. And at the end of it, it gives us a number. And the number of 25 and higher is associated with being overweight. So based on your physical exam results earlier on, you're at the 95th percentile. 95th? So at the very top t of the scale, which, for lack of a better word, puts you as overweight. Okay, well, are you sure you're right? I mean, I, I thought maybe like 27 or something. No, nope, that's what I have here. 95th, wow. Jeez, yeah. I didn't even know that. Like, okay, like what's gonna happen to me now? Like, should I be concerned? Is something gonna happen? Like, am I gonna die or something? Like, well, there are health risks associated with it, but I don't wanna scare you, I want to inform you. But before we get there, do you mind if I get to know you and your situation a little bit better? Yeah, sure, ask, yeah, what, what do you wanna know? So, for, what I like to do is get a little bit of history, so, Throughout this, do you mind if I ask you questions regarding your diet and exercise habits? Yeah, sure. Okay, so so to start us off, could you tell me a little bit about what you eat throughout the day? So, um, what's your habit like? Well, I guess like in the morning I never eat breakfast. It's just okay. like I'm always late or in a rush. And my mom doesn't make breakfast, so I don't, there's nothing at home to eat. Okay. So when I get to school, I tend to be hungry, so I go for like the first, uh, a large cookie usually, mm -hmm. and like a large chocolate milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that usually lasts until lunchtime. Okay. And then I have lunch with my buddies. Uh, we go to the cafe, and we usually get french fries and pizza. Okay. Uh, and then after I eat my lunch, I usually have like a bag of chips and like two to three pops with my lunch. Okay. So, yeah. All right. So. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you like about that kind of food? Um, it's comforting. Okay. Uh, it's fast, it's easy to grab, easy to get, it's, it tends to be cheap, and I get, it's like surrounded, it's always, it's around me all the time, you know, my, my friends do it, like my friends eat it, and I eat it with them, and okay. I guess it's kind of like a social thing for me. Right. My mom doesn't cook, so I usually eat it when I get home. Oh, okay. So to, to me, it's like literally everywhere around me. Okay, so let me try to understand. So you enjoy it because it's convenient, it's on the go, and it's always readily available when you need it. Your friends engage in it, and your mom doesn't ex is not exactly of a cooker, as, as much as I understand. Yeah. Okay, so could you tell me a little bit about what are some things that you don't really like about it? Well, I mean, I don't, sometimes they make it and there's just so much grease on there. Okay. I have to dab it with like a napkin just to get rid of the grease. Got it. Sometimes um, the line in the calf, I, like it's so long and mm. like it, my knees hurt and my back hurts just standing there waiting for it. Okay. And uh, to think about it, like it's just, I, I guess it's something to do with my body image maybe. Like I, I, that's why I'm here, right? I, I, don't have a, I don't have a girlfriend, so maybe it's to do something I, the way I look. I'm not okay. sure. So let me try to further understand. So given the positives you just told me, but you also feel like you're in pain, for what I'm understanding, you're back on your knees, and it's greasy, and maybe you think that it's contributing to your body image and potentially affecting your relationships? Yeah, that about summarizes it, yeah. Okay, so given that what you just told me, do you think that the food is contributing to your weight gain? Yeah, like if you put it that way, I do think it does contribute to my weight gain. Um, 
plus like I hate to say it but like my, I think my mom is right like she okay. her nagging is annoying but I think she just means well and wants you know for my health it's just for my health okay all right so now that I think we covered food and I understand a little bit better can I ask you about your exercise habits so things like any physical activity you engage in or anything like that? Oh, man. I mean, exercise, me and exercise don't go well together. Like, that's just not my thing. Okay. And, like, I don't plan on going to a gym. I don't plan on getting a gym membership. Like, just right. me and exercise just don't work. Okay. So if I understand you correctly, it is not your priority right now whatsoever. Definitely not my priority. Oh, okay. I Understood. think that, like, maybe um, I can focus on something more, like, on the like, eating habits okay. maybe but oh, okay. definitely not exercise okay so that's glad i'm glad to hear that so can i ask you are you considering about making any changes towards your diet at this point um yeah like i mean like when i think about it now i don't want to develop some sort of illness in the future and like and i definitely don't want to hear from my mom like oh, calling me overweight okay. and nagging at me like so oh, okay. This is definitely something that I'm considering. Okay. Yeah. So if I believe, so if I understand you correctly, you're considering to make that change because you don't want to develop a chronic illness later on in life and essentially avoiding conflict with your mother. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So can I ask you on a scale of 0 to 10, now that you're considering about making a change, 0 being not important whatsoever, and 10 being super uber important, how important is it for you to make this change? Um, what's it? It's about like a six. Oh, okay. All right. And let me ask you another question using a scale again. So from a scale of zero to 10, zero being I'm not confident whatsoever, and 10 being I'm super confident, how confident are you that you will be able to make this change? To be honest, I would say about like a four. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really that confident. Okay, so you are on the higher end of the scale in terms of how important it is to you to make that change. However, you are on the lower end of scale in terms of your confidence. Why did you choose four? Well, like I said earlier, like fast food is comforting to me okay. and it's all around me. All right. And when I, like my friends eat it. Okay. My mom doesn't know how to cook, so I eat it when I get home. Right. So I just feel that like it's a big part of my life, and if I just take it away, it's gonna be hard. Um, I personally don't feel like I have the will to just like control myself. Okay. Because like, I I just feel like I'm I'm, I'm just gonna break and like maybe grab a few fries from my friends or something, okay. and like that's I just feel like I'm I won't I don't, I don't have the will to to think it. But at the same time, there's you've uh, you made me like realize the good and the bad. Okay. And, like, it, and I see that like I really do need to do this because it's, it's going to be the best for me. Well, I'm, well, thank you for telling me that. I'm glad to hear that I was able to provide you with some information so that you can take control of your situation. So thank you so much. But can I ask you something else? In order to change, or in case increase that confidence from a four to maybe something higher, is there anything that can help you with that? Well, to think about it, my if my friends were like if they were to eat healthy with me, I think that they would, it would help me like increase my confidence and be able to uh, accomplish this. Okay. Just because like you know they're peer pressure and like they're Got with it. me five days a week every day at school and right. we're in the cap all the time, right? Okay. Um, another one would I, I would say is like maybe if my mom like learned to cook something. <laughs> Oh. So, yeah, <laughs> like, like a that, cooking class. Yeah, kind maybe of like thing? a cooking class, or something, oh, or, or okay. cooking book, or YouTube, or something. Just okay, okay. Learn to cook something because that'd okay. be nice. Yeah. So, I want to take a second or a few minutes in this case to say congratulations first of all for coming to see me. I know with your mom nagging and it must it must be frustrating for you, but it is you took that initiative. You, no matter through your mom's nagging, you still came to see me. So congratulations on that. Thanks. And I really want to say also congratulations to you taking this first step and seeing that this is something that could benefit you so that you don't want, because from what I'm understanding, you don't want to develop any chronic illness 
or any sort of health risk. Oh, no, no. So thank you, so thank you for being here, and congratulations again for taking that first step. Thanks. So right now, would you like to discuss the potential health risks associated with weight gain and overweight in junk food? To be honest, like, I mean, we learned about it in health class, and like my mom has given me these brochures like for so many times already. Okay. Like, I've read them. I kind of get okay. the gist of it. Oh, okay, um, I understand. Yeah. So no health teaching today. Yeah, I, I'm tired of the nagging. I, Got like, it. I know that it's Got bad it. for me. Got it. All right, so where would you like to go from here? Is there any idea that you have that we can start with? Anything uh, that you can do or anything we can do to help you with this change? Well, like, I was thinking about it. Maybe, like, I don't want nothing to do with exercise. Got it. Okay. But maybe sure. we can do some sort of like I don't know meal plan or I don't know like something to do with like my diet maybe reduce what I'm eating or okay. you know modify some of the things I'm eating I guess okay. like I know pop is bad for me and th that those chips and so maybe I can like reduce some of that maybe okay. change it from two to three to one pop a day got it and okay just no more chips okay yeah. so it looks like you have an idea that could potentially can contribute to you to you decreasing what you eat or in this case substituting what you eat am I correct yes may I make a suggestion yeah sure sometimes what happens is in order for people to fully realize the behavior that they're engaging in sometimes what ends up and I've noticed this with other clients writing down seems to help so I know this might sound lame but are you open to the idea of keeping some kind of a log, list, journal, or anything like that that indicates on it somewhere what you're eating and, ver and also what you're substituting. Are you open to that idea? I mean, I guess, like, I, I can see where you're coming from, like, where it could benefit. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's worth a shot. I mean, okay. how, how, how bad can it be, right? I mean, yeah. I have nothing to lose, so. Okay. Yeah, why not? I'll try it. So over the next couple of weeks, so if we were to set up a follow-up appointment, would you be comfortable of keeping that journal and then coming to me after so we can review it together? Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you're really good at this, nurse. Thanks. Oh, thank you. So can we, let's recap what we talked about today. So you came here to see me despite your mom nagging and making you feel like you have to be here because she said so. But you were able to see that you were able to identify that this is something, this is a your decision. This is something that would benefit you instead of your mom. So you've given me the goods and the bads of your junk food. And you were able to essentially come up with some kind of an action plan towards building that awareness of junk food and by being open to the idea of keeping a log. Is there anything I missed? Oh, I think you got it. You got most of it. I, or all of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It sums it up. So, can we make a follow-up appointment where we can review that journal after to see what's working for you, what's not working for you? Yeah, oh, sure. If something isn't working for you, we can always go back to the drawing board. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So, should we set up, set up that appointment? Yes, please. Thanks, Nurse Okay. Alex. Thank you. I'll see you in a couple of weeks. See you all right. Of weeks. Nice meeting you, Tony. Nice meeting you. Thank you.